place is a wreck. Yes, but it's my wreck. <laughs> so, hey, tell me about Grace. Uh, we dated. Yeah, I knew it. She had that bad breakup energy. It was 20 years ago, and she's wearing a ring probably as a kid. I'm sure she barely remembers me. Yeah, yeah, just tell me what happened. We met my junior year. I was dating my ex-wife, Sarah, since high school, and uh, we hit a bad spell and broke up. And that's when Grace happened. Yeah, we've been friends for a few months, and there had always been a spark, but it just went off like a bomb. Crawled all over each other for two weeks. It was zero to 160 in the span of a heartbeat. And then? Then Sarah showed up at my dorm eight weeks pregnant. Damn, damn. And you did the right thing. There was really no other choice. I still loved her, and that was my kid. So I uh, dropped out of school, packed up my things, moved back to Foxburg. I was married in a month, a dad within six. Got a job in construction, never looked back. Never. I mean, not never. Now your paths have crossed again, so? So nothing. I'm seeing someone, and she's married. Married women are the best. You find yourself a sexually frustrated, hot little mama whose husband isn't doing it right? I can't do that. I mean, just thinking about that stresses me out. That's, that's how lives are ruined. That is the right answer. <laughs> hey, you can't be faithful to a girl. You can't be faithful to an oath or a badge. Hold her to that. 